New tonight, a nuisance on Staten Island. A growing number of black vultures circling a neighborhood and leaving residents worried. Today, they tell CBS 2's Astrid Martinez why these aggressive birds have folks uneasy. Staten Island resident Michael Uzi is out on his front yard, hose in hand, but he's not watering his lawn. This is how I got rid of them last time. He's desperately trying to get rid of some new neighbors invading his neighborhood. I have no idea where they came from. This is new for us. For nearly two months, black vultures have been seen on a daily basis, causing damage to some homes and property. Well, my neighbor noticed. She called me out. She says they're on your roof ripping the eating the roof tiles. So I went out and I just sprayed them with the hose and they flew away. But as time went on, the birds started coming around more often and became less timid. So we were seeing them in a distance back there. Then they started getting closer and then they started really feeling comfortable on all of our roofs over here. Dina Tamasula, who has lived in the Midland Beach area for more than 40 years, is now nervous when her small pets are outside. And they would just stare at all the animals like that they would see walking around. So it started getting a little freaky. You know, we were scared for the animals. Black vultures are fairly large scavengers, measuring two and a half feet tall with a wingspan of up to five feet. Experts say they look more intimidating than they really are, and reports of them preying on live animals are relatively unheard of. No, not likely, no. It, it, again, they, they're not geared to killing like a, a hawk or an owl would be where they grasp and kill. Mm. They will come down and... and just eat mostly road kills. Black vultures are federally protected creatures which prohibits capturing and killing them. Harming them can result in a fine of up to $15,000 and six months in prison. If the bird becomes a nuisance, people can call the Department of Environmental Conservation. In the meantime, it's perfectly legal to scare them away, just like Mike has been doing for the past two months. There he goes. In Midland Beach, Staten Island, Astrid Martinez, CBS 2 News. Ah, but they keep coming back. Experts say we can expect to see a lot more of these traditionally southern birds in our area due to milder mm. winters.